everyone, Father Jack here. As I told yesterday, in case you weren't here, I woke up on Thursday morning with a very high fever, and later in the day I tested positive for COVID. Uh, so I am in isolation, so that brings us back to uh, where we began our online mass two and a half years ago, this past week, right here in this very room, in the rectory dining room. So hopefully, We'll be out of here in a few days. Uh, tomorrow, Mass will be in the church, but that's only because we have to record that earlier in the week, and uh, we did so on Wednesday. So, uh, so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. Rejoice, O young man, while you are young, and let your heart be glad in the days of your youth. Follow the ways of your heart, the vision of your eyes. Yet understand that as regards all this, God will bring you to judgment. Ward off grief from your heart and put away trouble from your presence, though the dawn of youth is fleeting. Remember your Creator in the days of your youth before the evil days come, and the years approach of which you will say, I have no pleasure in them. Before the sun is darkened and the light and the moon and the stars, while the clouds return after the rain, when the guardians of the house tremble and the strong men are bent, and the grinders are idle because they are few, and they who look through the windows grow blind, when the doors to the street are shut and the sound of the mill is low, when one waits for the chirp of a bird, but all the daughters of song are suppressed, and one fears heights and perils in the street, when the almond tree blooms and the locust grows sluggish, and the caper berry is without effect, because man goes to his lasting home, and mourners go about the streets. Before the silver cord is snapped, and the golden bowl is broken, and the pitcher is shattered at the spring, and the broken pulley falls into the well, and the dust returns to the earth as it once was, and life breath returns to God who gave it. Vanity of vanity, says Quaholith, all things are vanity. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end of them in their sleep. The next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but by evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While they were all amazed at his every deed, 
Jesus said to his disciples, Pay attention to what I am telling you. The Son of Man is to be handed over to men. But they did not understand this saying. Its meaning was hidden from them, so that they should not understand it. And they were afraid to ask him about this saying. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Our first reading from the book of Ecclesiastes today speaks very much about the vibrancy of youth, but then goes into a very poetic litany of things that happen that show us that all things of this world is, are passing, that our life and vitality, our earthly life and vitality, will not la last forever. The things that we have, the things that we think we can count on now, will not go with us from this life into eternal life. And in reality, all will pass away at some point in time. And so let our prayer always be that while we are people of this world and we need to be people of this world, that we will still recognize that our ultimate goal is heaven and that we will work to gain the treasures of heaven rather than the treasures of this earth. And in faith, we now turn to our Heavenly Father with these our prayers. For the Church of God, that wherever she suffers, she may still cling strongly to her faith in the Lord, who suffered for our salvation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the leaders of peace, that, or of nations rather, that they will work for peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are imprisoned unjustly or held against their will, that they may one day walk in the freedom of God's children, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who are poor, that they may experience the providence of God through the good works and charity of their neighbors, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for health and blessings for Elaine Roach, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who are, uh, care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will, for we offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and William, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, on you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. I've received a number of uh, notes uh, through our parish website uh, with prayers and good wishes, and I'm very grateful for that. I'm hoping that in a few days when my symptoms are gone and I have a uh, clean test, a negative test that we'll be able to get back in the church. And just a reminder, uh, tomorrow's Mass was pre-recorded, so it won't, won't look like I had some mystery cure overnight. Uh, but we have to do that so that we can get the Mass to our cable channel, our local access cable channel, in time for Sunday. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <music>